everyone welcome back to my channel today i wanted to share with you guys what i got in this month's ipsy bag so as you guys know ipsy is a monthly subscription box uh, where you pay ten dollars a month and they send you four to five deluxe samples to your mailbox uh sometimes you do get some full size samples um but not all the time and if you do it might be like one or two samples a month so i wanted to share with you guys a little unboxing slash review of the products so this is this month's bag i already used all of the products to get ready this morning for you know going out and whatever so i'm just going to share with you guys what i got and what i think of each individual product so first the bag i really like it it is different than the one that has the zipper like down here has a zipper on top and it's gold on one side and like a faux leather on the other it's really pretty so as soon as i opened it there was one thing that caught my eye and that was this uh body scrub this is um balance guru organic scrub me nice and gritty body scrub whoa so yeah this is one ounce of product and i was really excited because i love body scrubs but then i opened it and the scent came through and it smells like straight up coffee so that is what it looks like obviously i used it this morning so it's like you know been used uh the ingredients are raw sugar organic coffee coconut oil and cocoa butter so that's what you get in here now my review about it i really liked the product i really liked the feeling that it left me in my skin it was very soft and smooth and obviously when you apply it i wouldn't suggest applying too much because a little goes a long way from this scrub um and don't do it more than twice a week maybe once a week would be just fine uh, my husband used it as well because I told him to use it and see what he thought. And he said when he got out of the shower, it felt like his pores were just like wide open. And I think that's why it's be the reason why is because he doesn't use body scrubs often. So his body will be different than mine. Um, he did not have any like a allergic reaction to it. He is, his skin is very sensitive. So I was like trying to see if he got any allergic reaction or if his eczema got worse and it didn't so that's a really good thing for this um yeah it just says it's going to exfoliate and moisturize at the same time so i definitely felt the moisturization the exfoliation i i mean it's nothing better than other body scrubs that i've used would i purchase it no just for the simple fact that the smell is too strong for me it smells like straight up coffee and i am not a coffee drinker or a coffee lover i just drink whenever i need it so for that reason alone no i wouldn't buy it the next thing that i got in my bag is this nourish organic pure hydrating argan face serum and it's apricot and rose hip for normal to dry skin now it felt like they heard my prayers because my skin has been very dry lately and that's what happens whenever there's a season change or anything like that my skin just is super super dry this i thought it was going to be more of a serum than an oil like to me it's those two things are completely different a serum would be a little thicker than an oil this is straight up oil in your face but i used it last night whenever i washed my face and you know to go to sleep and then i washed my face this morning and i used it again and i put my makeup on top of it i did not see a difference between my regular moisturizer and this on top of you know with my makeup on top i did not feel like it was like oilier or anything like that Obviously, you do have to let it sit in your skin for a while before you put your makeup on. But I did not find anything that was too greasy for me. I am not a... I hate feeling greasy in my, my face. So that's why I don't like oils. I prefer serums. This, although, is 
to me it's more of an oil but it's not like abusive you know what i mean i really liked it i really really liked it um i don't know how much it is regular priced but i got a pretty good size sample this is 0.5 fluid ounces so not bad and i could hear the oils Ugh. so yeah then i got three makeup products that i was just so excited to get so the very first thing that i got is a sample of the mary luminizer uh, highlighter by the bomb now obviously I did not get a lot but that's what it looks like that's what it looks like on my skin and I used it today as you can see I am not wearing any uh, bronzer I did not contour myself at all I just used highlighter and blush and this is the highlighter that I used on top of my um what is it called high beam highlighter you guys know which one I'm talking about. The liquid highlighter that comes in a little bottle and is very strong. Yeah, so I used this powder on top of the highlighter and I really liked it. I used to hear a lot of this highlighter back in the day with a lot of beauty gurus on YouTube. They would always rave about this product. Uh, but slowly, it just started dying off and I'm happy that I got to try it now and I really, really like it. Would I purchase it though? Maybe not because I do have a lot of highlighters at home, but if I was to just have one highlighter, I would definitely purchase this. But because I have too many, I wouldn't purchase it. The next thing that I got is a sample of the Tarte Energy Lip Surgeons. Now, <clears throat> sorry. My first introduction to Tarte was back in November of... 2013 um my husband took me to Ulta and he was like hey you know just get anything that you want I was three months pregnant two months pregnant and you know morning sickness to the max and I smelled a tart lipstick or lip gloss and I just immediately ran to the bathroom and it was all over for me and so ever since then ever since I was pregnant I've been very sensitive to scents so i don't go back to things that made me get sick when i was pregnant this was one of those things the tart lipsticks and lip glosses and i tried it all nothing was working it was too strong for me so when i saw it in my bag i was like i really want to try it but i'm afraid of what's gonna happen so gladly it feels like they switched the scent or maybe my pregnancy is obviously over <laughs> It smells like cotton candy and I love it. This is what I'm wearing today. I'm just wearing this. I'm not wearing any lipstick or any more lip gloss. Just this. And I really like it. I mean, it does feel sticky on my lips. And I wouldn't recommend it just for anyone. Because I know how people are very sensitive to like sticky lips and like hair in your lip. It's not pretty. I don't mind it just because I love lip glosses. So... Not for anyone, not for everyone, but I really enjoy it. And would I purchase a full size? Probably now that I'm not so afraid of their smell. <laughs> then the last thing that I got is a full size brush by Royal and Lang Langnickel. I don't know. What do you guys think that says? This is a medium eye shader. Now I used this brush twice today. I used it, I used it, <laughs> I used it to apply the Mary Luminizer on my cheeks just because I really wanted like a high concentration of highlighter right there. So I used this brush and I also used it to pack on my base eyeshadow which is a creamy looking eyeshadow. So yeah, that's what I used it for. It is synthetic bristles. I, it's not, I mean it's soft. Would I buy it? No, I wouldn't. I've, I have better um, brushes in my collection that might not be as expensive as this. This one, I'm just thinking it's expensive because, I don't know. I think it is. I don't know how much it is, but if you go to the link down below on my blog, I will post how much each individual full-size product how much they are how much my bag is worth which i love to do because i want to see if my ten dollars was worth it so 
basically you guys i got five products only one of them was a full size obviously the rest of them were samples so like i said with ipsy it's a hit and miss do i like all the products i do like all of the products it's just here and there i have my little butts with each and every one of them um but yeah that is what i got in my ipsy bag if you are subscribed to ipsy let me know what you got in your bag and tell me if you like all your uh products so yeah don't forget to like my videos and comment down below and don't forget to check out my blog where i will be posting more information on this bag and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and yeah i will talk to you in my next video bye